thank you for stopping by my kitchen you are very welcome if you can see up here i'm trying to get it in shot but the sun keeps coming out it's my buddleia plant otherwise known as a butterfly plant and today i have been making butterfly cakes tiny little cupcakes with a little bit of buttercream in and wings Here's how I made them. So to start with, because they, we're making 18 butterfly cakes, we need 18 paper cases. These are not the big muffin cases, and they're not the tiny little sweetie cases. They're kind of the small cupcake cases. Yeah, I've been looking for um, a sizing on them, but I can't see anything. Now on my baking sheet I can only fit 15 so I'm going to put three on a little baking sheet and that can go in with these 15 it makes approximately 18 we might get not get 18 out of it so in my bowl I'm going to put four ounces of butter butter needs to be at room temperature um, because we're going to cream it um, if you have butter straight out of the fridge, it will not cream. Here I have four ounces of caster sugar. This we're going to add gradually. And this creaming is going to get all the air on the cake, so it needs to be done for a long time. As you can see the mixture is starting to lighten you can see the air bubbles in it the butter's going a much lighter shade this is what we're looking for I'm just going to scrape the sugar from the sides of the bowl get it all in the middle all incorporated and we'll give it another quick whiz in this jug I have two eggs that I've beaten and we're just gonna um, drizzle a little bit of egg in whisk drizzle another bit whisk drizzle another bit whisk until it's all incorporated um, we have to do this very gradually otherwise the mixture will curdle so just a tiny bit When you get near the end of putting all the egg in, scrape the mixture down from the sides because we've got butter left in the side and it won't allow the egg to all be incorporated if all the butter isn't down into the bowl to be mixed. Remember we're beating all the air in to make the cakes light and fluffy at the moment. Probably the most important part of the, the job here. I'm just going to have another scrape and then this part will be done. My old mixer used to stand and I could scrape without it moving. I can't do it with this one. There, so we'll go again. There, that's, that's that part done. You can see it's all full of air and it's all a very pale yellow colour. That's just perfect. So into this mixture, I'm going to add four ounces of self-raising flour. This needs to be sift because sieving it like this, it incorporates even more air into the mixture. There. And then we'll just fold that in. The reason we fold in is so all the air we incorporated when we were beating it with the mixer doesn't come out. You just need to be very gentle, it's literally a fold in motion. Fold and cut, fold and cut, 
want to handle it as little as possible, but then nobody wants any big lumps of flour left in their cake. So it all needs to be incorporated. There, now we can put it in the paper cases. So here we have our paper cases and we just need to half fill them. I have got clean hands. So it makes about 18. So just fill them up about this much. And then if we've got any left over, we'll go in and dot some more in the ones that aren't quite as full as the others, really. You just need to get them as even as possible, but don't worry if they're not. All right, that's my 15 and I'll get my other three over. So I'm gonna pop a little bit more. I've got a little bit left, mixture left, so I'm gonna fill up those that are a little bit, got a little bit less than everybody else. <laughs> so we're going to pop them in um, a nice hot oven, 190 degrees Celsius, 375 degrees Fahrenheit or gas mark five for 15 minutes. So we've got about, um, we were up to about 14 minutes at the moment, but the little ones were at the top of the oven. So they are just about done. We'll take those out and leave the other ones in for another minute. So 15 minutes is up. We'll get them out. Ooh. Oven's hot. So this is what they'll look like. And I'm just going to put them on a wire rack just to cool, because at the moment they are cupcakes and we are going to, when they are cool, turn them into butterflies. So now we're going to make the buttercream for the butterflies. <laughs> In my bowl, I have two ounces of butter. So we'll just give the, this a quick whiz to cream it up a bit. And here I have four ounces of icing sugar, which we're going to put in, not all at once. We're just going to sieve it in here. This needs to be done gradually too, otherwise it's gonna go everywhere. I make icing sugar clouds. So I'm going to scrape the sides of the bowl just to get it all down and all incorporated. And put the rest in now, that should be fine. So we'll just give that a scrape down and give it a little taste too, to see how it is. Give it a little taste. Mm, that tastes too buttery for me. I'm going to add a little bit more ice and sugar. So here we have our made buttercream and our little cakes, and now we're going to make them into butterflies. This is the fun bit. So you need quite a sharp knife and just cut out a circle. You only go in a tiny bit down and then you lift that circle out, so, -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> so you have, look, a little hole and a little piece of cake that's come out of the hole. So take your cake and cut that piece in half and put a dollop of buttercream in the hole. You can pipe this in if you want to be more precise, but I've always done it in a dollop. <laughs> And then these two halves of the cakes make the wings and you just press them in. And there you have a butterfly. So I'll do another one. Cut around in the cake. And you're at an angle, so you're cutting the cake underneath, not cutting right through to the bottom. It's just the top you're taking off. Cut the top, so you've got the two wings. A nice dollop. Buttercream, and then you can put the wings on. 
This would be quite nice for children to do. Cutting wings out. <laughs> it's quite nice for adults to do too. <laughs> Here we have the finished butterfly cakes. All they need now is a dusting of ice and sugar. Come back to my kitchen soon for more recipes, but don't forget to subscribe.